Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Uh, if only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. How are you? Good. It's funny. I was thinking, it's like, how is this going to work? <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. Because uh, I don't have the fancy headgear you guys oh, have. No, that's okay. It's oh. just, it makes us look fancy. That's all. <laughs> oh, you've even got the little filter on the microphone. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah. Spitting and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It keeps it from that uh, hissing noise, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So nice to finally meet you. I know. It's so nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Good. Keeping busy. Just yeah. if you hear a dog barking. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Dogs are welcome on the show. Okay. It's funny. Every time, every time you talk about the mutt locks, I thought, oh, you know, you, you can't really use them in Vancouver. But then, of course, we've had all the snow. But you can. The salt, the salt has been huge here. Yeah. So. Yeah. And they have, a, they have a mud version, too, uh, like for rainy days. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's funny. I just wonder if you wouldn't keep pulling them off. And that's what I keep wondering. Yeah. They do. They, they got to learn to keep them on. Otherwise, uh, otherwise it doesn't work. Hey, Kenny. Hey. Hello. Kenny. Yeah, I had troubles because, you know, I haven't used, um, I haven't used this. I haven't done anything on this MacBook. So it yeah. took me to figure out how to do anything. Gotcha. Because a MacBook is intuitive. Yeah. It's supposed to just happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of Bullshit. course. Of course it is. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> you're, in, uh, you're in Edmonton. Different hotel room tonight. I mean, I am, yes, in Edmonton. A little, a little cold there, I bet. Mud is freezing up here. Uh, I don't know how people do it. It was like minus 39 wind chill. It was minus 30. Wow. It was. It's like, it's ridiculous. It's minus. I think tonight's supposed to go to minus 31 or 32. And then you tack on, like it'll be over minus 40, I guess. It's far getting cold. Like, like my freezer's 30. not even that cold. That's just stupid. I used to go to Winnipeg all the time in, in Montreal. We'd always have our meetings January, early January in Montreal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we, where we you have to stay that. an extra couple of days getting snowed in. and. <laughs> <laughs> but Winnipeg was the worst. You'd step outside and you catch that bit of cold ice air. Yeah. It's just cold. It's yeah. just cold. Freaking cold. Yeah. yeah. yeah really, yeah, it's just, it's just cold. But it's not bad. You know, I mean, it's the hell, right? At least, you know what? There's sun. What's yes. it like right now? What's I, don't, I haven't talked to Melia tonight yet. It's... I'm not it's um, it's supposed to drop down quite cool tonight, so we're going to start getting the frost on the slush. The snow stopped, but it's supposed to start again tomorrow, rush hour, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's been glorious driving home. With the, they closed the school's big snow alert on, Sat on Monday, so Surrey, the largest school district, was closed. So nobody oh, nice. was coming over the bridge, so nice. no one was on the highway. So this is like, fantastic. I'm getting home in like you know, 20 <laughs> minutes. This is fantastic. And then on Tuesday, they shut the whole world down. Yeah. Oh, and for no reason. I breezed into work in, you know, 15, 20 minutes, came home even quicker. And it was just. Yeah. But that's probably the reason why is because they shut it down. Like I was, I would, I think I was, I was telling them here, I was in the cab on the way to the airport. It's 445 Tuesday morning and it's snowing and it's been snowing all night. Yeah. yeah. And the roads in Vancouver were shit. They just, that's, that's someone who would describe they were just shit. Yeah. yeah not a plow from East van to the airport, nothing. Wow. Like nothing. And every road, Marine drive 41st Victoria night, everything is covered in snow. Yeah. Not a truck in sight. See, I live in new West. So new West is very small. You can walk across it in half an hour and it's not far from East van, but we have our guy named Fred with a shovel. And we got one truck. And so we're plowed, we're salted, we're done. We were, we were plowed and salted on the side street, um, you know, within two hours of the snow falling. Wow. On a side street. Yeah. I've been in East Vancouver for 20, 27 years. I have never, and I shit you not, ever, ever, ever 
seen a snowplow on our side streets. <laughs> oh, hell no. Ever. Yeah. Never. We, we plow our own. There's, there's a, there's a three group of, of guys here, you know, me included that have snow blowers. And so every snowstorm we go out and plow our own side streets because we just, you know, someday well, they'll come by, right? Like someday they'll come by, but we just don't know when, right? Yeah, so. it's, it, ours is a Vancouver. I'll tell you why, Linda. Yeah. I was talking to Amelia last night because I was giving her shit when I was going to the airport because I know her, you know, stubborn as a mule. And I thought she's going to drive. Like, and, you know, like her car all seasons are all season like. Carly steals my car. My all seasons are summers. Like there's no all season left in them. They are summer tires. <laughs> Right, she found out as she apparently went through three intersections. Holy crap! I know, honestly, thick as a brick. But anyway, Amelia's coming, going, going. She was either going to work in the morning or coming home at night. Boundary Road, so boundaries a division between East Van and Burnaby, and there's a boulevard down the middle. Yeah. On the left side, as you're going uh, southbound, is Burnaby, completely cleared and plowed. Mm-hmm. The Vancouver side, nary did they see a snow truck. <laughs> Not that- even touched. That's a steep hill. Yeah, but one side, yeah. the Burnaby side's clear, the Vancouver side is not. Wow. What a shit show. Yeah. That's God, I love it. my city. <laughs> that's how it works. Anyway, I'm up here now. It's just, it's just ice. Yeah, like, but they're, they're prepared for it. They're four inches of ice on the road. That's all. There's, that's not compact snow. It's ice. But they're good for it. They, they know how to deal with it. No, they have winter tires and they just don't go too fast. We, we don't. Yeah. You know, I have to laugh when you, I see some people with their snow blowers. I'm thinking... You bought a snowblower for Vancouver. For Vancouver, <laughs> who saw you coming? And then, and then you go, shit! <laughs> I wish I had one of those. Exactly. But I think one of the reasons why our street gets plowed is a few years back, Mrs. Demarchi, the the old Italian lady at the end of the street, um, she lived on a corner, a very large property, and she had to have eye drops all the time, so her kids would come by and stuff like that. So she called up the mayor and said. You get me a snow plow down here so my kids can come put eye drops in my eyes. Oh my gosh. Thank, uh, unfortunately, she passed away, but you know, it's, I used to go and shovel. I was thankful. I was talking to the, the people who bought her house this year, and I had to thank them. I said, Thank God you're here because I always just break my back shoveling her walk. Yeah. Every freaking time it would snow, yeah. and, and she's yeah. it was just like, Thank you. You can do your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. The goodness stops now. <laughs> I'll get in the hood, baby. I'll get in the hood. Oh, man. Oh, man. In the hood. So, podcast audience, we have, uh, we have our favorite, favorite <laughs> guest on the show today. You didn't mention um, me last podcast. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Uh, Go no? back and listen. There's not a podcast. Well, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> you're... <laughs> freaking months. This podcast uh, is sponsored and, <laughs> and hosted... We don't even mention ourselves. And hosted by Linda Webb. And, uh, and Kenny and Phil are, are guesting on the show today. So. <laughs> I have to say, okay, so I started, I had to, for work, do some kind of um, course um, for self-improvement or whatever. How okay. you improve on this, I don't know. But okay. I had to take a course. And um, I want to take intro to social media because um, I'm a dinosaur and I, I don't Twitter well. I don't Instagram well and nothing. I just, you know, I don't even do Facebook much anymore. And so I took this course, and, and um, what is the point? Because everything they're talking about, you guys have covered. And I thought that was Aww. phenomenal. I thought, here I spent 250 bucks to listen to these people dryly explain these things. Yeah. When I could just be listening to you guys. Because <laughs> they were talking, I was writing this down, I thought, I've heard this term before. I've heard all this stuff before. What is yeah. it? Um, the persona and you know getting the um, the content and all this stuff. Yeah, I know more than I actually thought. So exactly. thank you. Also, and it was free. Hey, it was free. free. Yes, it was free. I the know. best price in the world. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Although, so if anybody weird. feels like sending a check to us for two hundred fifty bucks, we'd be more than happy to cash it. <laughs> right now, Here it's you free. Have it, but you, you don't give a certificate. You, you know, we, well, uh, listen, for, for 250 bucks, bucks, we'll, we'll do, yeah. you, get a, you get two certificates yeah, yeah. One from each of us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll even draw it by hand if you want. <laughs> exactly. <me to. laughs> I can find a seal or a stamp. Or, oh, there's lots yeah. of shit in the house. Don't worry. You can have certificates hey, till the cows come home. That? <laughs> this is my dog, Wally. Wally? Is he a, is he a schnauzer? 
He's a standard schnauzer. That's why he's so big. Oh, uh, yeah, I got and it. The minis, the minis are only 15 pounds. He's about 55 yeah. pounds. Okay. Okay. And the giants are about 100 pounds. So, um, so dogs love our podcast, right? Because last time we had a... Uh, um, with Kelly Eisen on from Einstein Pets and her little, um, she has a little terrier. Um, she has a Westie. Oh, okay. And, uh, it just wouldn't, wouldn't leave us alone. Right. She just had to be in <laughs> the, uh, do you remember that? Yeah. She just, she had to hang out in the call and you know, um, but yeah, that's pretty. No, cool. My dog's indifferent. He just ran away. So. Oh. <laughs> It's got airtime. It's it's all good in the hood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God mentions the star. I mean, come on. What the hell do you want? I know. Um, Linda Webb. We yes. we know some things about you. Um, do you want to tell us? Um, you could tell us how you came to sponsor the show, maybe. Or- <laughs> <laughs> How did you start your own podcast, Linda? Uh, yeah. Get two other people it's to do really it for you. How did you get Tell these two idiots to start hosting the podcast on your podcast? Like, how did you do that? You'd be surprised. And you've done shit for this spot podcast. First time in 55 episodes, you finally showed up to your own podcast. <laughs> I listened. Hey, somebody listened. I so you're checking along. on the guys doing your podcast. Now you finally decided to participate. <laughs> I passed along all your, I kept on, it's just like there's certain episodes too. That there's, there's some really prime episodes that you guys actually did. I'm sorry, I can't remember episode numbers, but they are really key for some of the clients because I see, okay, let me start backwards. Um, I work for a contract manufacturing facility. We manufacture liquids, ointments, creams. So we do things like um, uh, topical analgesics, things like Lakota. We do, um, a lot of professional hair care products, skin care products. We do a lot of personal lubricants. Okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with um, that. <laughs> it's kind of what we do. I know a whole lot about lube. I, I used to work on that side of the business. So like yeah, I bought the category for years. <laughs> yeah, so we good here. You want to go lube, we can go that route. But, uh, <laughs> but water we, based, you know, <laughs> we're, we're, we're all good, man. <laughs> so we do all kinds of stuff like that. We we have an R&D facility. We have uh, some chemical engineers who know how to take a product from conception to reality. And they um, basically whip stuff up and, and make magic from stuff. Sometimes people bring stuff. I want to be exactly like this. And then we'll do that. Or um, some people actually come to us with existing working formulas. We get a lot of people. Like Patrice is a really good example. Patrice uh, basically was making this stuff in her kitchen to start with in a, in a crock pot. And so she, when she came to me, we started talking about how she was making it. And so we had to translate how you simulate a crock pot situation to big, you know, 500 kg tanks with uh, heated vessels and, and, you know, beaters and stuff like that. So, um, and sometimes it works, but, but sometimes, you know, when you get some of these people whipping up stuff in their kitchen, it doesn't necessarily always work. You'd be surprised how many people um, have just made these things with, um, you know, no preservatives or mm-hmm. they, they start separating after a while. And these are things that we kind of see and trying to correct to make them a, a better product. Some people come to us with existing products that have been on the market for ages and, and they just, um, either their contract manufacturer has disappointed them which is nine times out of 10 the case, or they have either gone bankrupt or they have just um, basically said, you're too small for us now, or you're too big for us. So we're in a middle, we're a middle sized company. We're certainly not um, a large manufacturing facility, but we obviously we were very busy. We have, the business is basically, I joined there about five years ago and it's probably, quadrupled since I got there. Wow. And it's not, and here's the good part. I had not gone out and got any business. Not once. I have never done a trade show. Not once. Everybody either by word of mouth or by Googling our websites. eh, It's okay. It's certainly not going to drive people to us, but that's, that's it. They've all come to me. They've all called and said, Oh, you're Linda Webb. (laughs) (laughs) Not, oh, you're Linda Webb. It's a, oh, you're Linda Webb. That's oh. what I get all the time. Oh. So, mm-hmm. but, and that's what we do. So we, we, someone, we finally come up with a formulation. Then we, um, we check and see how much it costs to make. 
then we kind of start that process and then we take the purchase order, we make it, bada boom, bada bing. You got product. Wow. Easy as that. That's yeah, it all really sounds cool. easy, right? It's it it's not. It's it's a year long process, and this is the part that kills me. People will come and say, "Well, you know, I want to do this," and and you tell them it takes three months to develop it. It takes three months to test it and make sure it's actually stable and it's not going to fall apart and it's not going to turn yeah. different colors. Um, and then three months later, you you still working on ordering your packaging and your labeling and all that kind of stuff, and then. Then you finally got some money to put a to, to put your purchase order in, pay fifty percent deposit, and then you know people don't realize it's anywhere fifteen, twenty, twenty five thousand dollars to launch a product, one SKU. They don't get it. Like just to manufacture it. From 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 me starting and making a formula yeah. to you walking home with a pallet full of product. Yeah. product. Wow. Wow. And it's, 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 it's not just me because the cost of the R and D, yeah. then you have to talk to someone who does regulatory affairs to make sure your labels compliant with health Canada. If you're NHP, then that, that's a whole other, yeah. whole other mess altogether. Yeah. You need to have someone make sure that your, well, we, we check and make sure that your product doesn't have, um, doesn't grow things. You know, that's what preservatives do. They make things not grow in your formula. And then um, your packaging, you're going to have to pay for all your packaging up front. You're going to have to pay your graphics person up front. You're going to have to pay for your labels up front. Me, you get to pay 50% on PO and then 50% when you pick it up. But other than that, it, it's um, people kind of simplify it and think, oh, I can, can we have something in two months time? It's like, yeah, just oh, chuck it in a jar. It'll be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't happen. Like challenge that. you have with people or what people find is so they come in and just really have no clue as to what the process is or is not. That's sort of. Yeah. So and how that, do you manage that? So how do you walk people? Because, uh, you know, I mean, I deal with some of the people that you've you're talking about. Yeah. And a lot of it, like Patrice has got a wicked product. Phil uses it. Yeah. I do. I love it. Traction. But I can imagine because just knowing Patrice I mean, Patrice is, is an awesome person and super bright, but you know, she didn't come from that world. No, why, she why would she know? No. And most people don't. And so this is where I walk through the whole process and basically get the same spiel every time. Um, I, pretty much as I just walked it through and, and people don't seem to realize that this is, this is a reasonably lengthy process and you are making an investment and you need to, say you know we've talked to people too where they're going okay we're going to launch it in october it's like no no <laughs> not of 19 <laughs> 12 months just to take six take six no it takes uh 12 weeks minimum just to get your packaging and god help you if you get caught in chinese new year's because they're tacked on yeah. another month yeah we're in that right now everybody's waiting for the packaging and then the the, the crane at the port broke right. and then that shut down the port for three weeks all our stuff is sitting in containers there. And so it's the same thing. So they don't, there's all these things that they, they forget to plan. Well, you know, I got a friend. Yeah. Well, we all got friends. <laughs> oh, I, I know people at London drugs. I know people at farms of, yeah, but do you have money to pay them to get your yeah. product in there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that part. And you know that, and that's, you know, because, because I see so many people, I get probably 20, maybe 25, inquiries a week wow! and then everybody wants me. I've actually had to start booking my meetings a month out in advance because I just can't see everybody. So on those and 25 though, what are you closing then in a week? Like of the 25, cause they could, as far as they're concerned, they're all going to production. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, Linda, <laughs> my woman, she's on it. Yeah. Look out, I'll babe. Here we go. go. <laughs> so 25 people come. Cause I want to get perspective. So under people understand you know, what, what this game's about. So 25 people yeah. come and how many actually, how many go to fruition? Like how one? many finish it? Maybe one. Yeah. 4%. Yeah. And it's, it's hard. It's hard too, because I, and you don't like to do it, but you try and scare them off at first just because they don't understand the reality of it. Mm -hmm. And I, it's not me trying to be mean or trying to just get rid of you. I will give everybody the time of day. I, I was talking today to someone from, um, a company that does products for dreadlocks. And I talked to him about a year ago and, and 
I don't, I, I just remember the fact that it was dreadlocks because I was just so fascinated that it's like, like well, dreadlocks, the hair, like dreadlocks. hair dreadlocks. Yeah. So, and we were just okay. kind of chit chatting about the product itself. And then a year later he calls back and he says, starts asking me kind of the same questions. I, I would imagine. I can't quite remember what we talked about last time. <laughs> and they all start melding into one. And so we started talking and then basically two minutes into the conversation, I said, I'm, I'm, I have too high a requirement for you. I can't, you can't do 2000 units minimum. Oh, but can't you just make three, 400 units? Like I can't even turn the lights on for three, 300 units. Um, it's not even worth me showing up. Um, I said, you know, there's documentation fees, there's, mm -hmm. there's setup fees, there's blah, blah, blah. And they, they seem to think, well, if I can just make, if I can just make a few and it's like, but I can't, I'll charge you an arm and a leg and I don't want to do that. I don't want to make, I don't want to break you before you even launch a product. Exactly. Unless what you're going to do is you're going to launch at a fake price. It costs you $12 to make it. Yeah. It might cost you in a year six. So you go out at a $6 loss. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you're willing to do that, I guess there's ways to do it. But even then, you're not going to turn the machine on for four or 500 pieces. You can't no, do it. No, and it, it's really, you know, and it also... It's frustrating though, right? You're small. How do you manage that? Like, it's small, hard for small people. They don't get it. Well, there, there's you're a couple the of bad news. Well, there's a couple of smaller manufacturers that I do know that are local. And so, um, and some of them I trust yes. more than others. But, yeah. you know, some of them are more available than others. And some have better expertise. So... Yeah have one company that's close by in Venable so that he has a very small kettle. And so I know that he'll do 20, 30 kilos of product, whereas I won't, I won't period. Right, right. Yeah. Um, but he, um, so I, I'm glad to pass him along. And then when I said, when you get big, then you can come back to me because we, we work together so that, you know, if I have small stuff, he, I send it to him. If he's got big stuff, he sends it yeah. to me. Um, you know, I've got equipment to fill tubes and sachets and, and all kinds of stuff, whereas he doesn't. And, and so, you know, you just kind of, just kind of got to pick and choose. Just, I'm like, I'm like you guys where I don't, I'll probably spend half an hour talking to some of these people when I know it's, it's not worth my time, but I want to help them. I want to make sure that they go on. And then, then there comes the point where I've said enough and I've said all I can. And then I say, why don't you go see Kenny? Kenny will help. <laughs> <laughs> sure you just you just burned an hour of my time but an hour of his <laughs> he's just as silly as me he'll talk that's amazing gotta share the love but that that's kind of what it boils down to yeah. and, and people you know they seem to forget about things like health canada i mean obviously the one of the big ones we're getting these days is you make stuff with cbd you know and yeah. it's like no it's not legal yet and, and we're not going to jeopardize our license with health canada <laughs> to to feed the a very growing market but um it's not worth my interest to do that so yeah. um yeah so it's uh it, it's really been fun i mean i came from you know big pharma i came from pharma science back in the day and you know we yeah. it was kind of cool because you know they just said here go sell some laxative and off you go and you sell some laxative and woohoo sexy yeah. stuff you know and now i'm selling lubes I, I feel like we all come from the same background. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's you mentioned, funny. uh, what was her name? No. Um, Shelly. No, what was her name? She has a Japanese last name. And I can't remember her name. No. So from, Oh, her. Lynn Shishido. Yeah. Okay. So I know yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. Of course I can't yeah. remember her name, but, uh, I, I know her. Awesome. She does. She doesn't live too far away from me actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah and I actually Canada. interviewed with her for a job. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. You know, see, it's very Small funny, world, man. World. It's very funny. Small world. Yes. Oh my gosh. Which is why you go out and do, you know, kind of, and this is why we, you know, we tease you a lot on the show, right? But there, there's a reality to the reason we, you know, the reason I've, I've, I've always liked you and, and I'm a, a lot of it's mutual with all of us is that you, you take the time to sort of help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. small, small business, small entrepreneurs really have a tough time if nobody gives them straight goods. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They need to hear the truth. It's and, not and that, two days to do something. And that's it's it. And I, and, I, and I tell them all the time, I said, i got to be brutally honest. First, he's like, where are you, where are you selling this? And, you know, uh, there's one client that, Kenny, you've spoken to already, and they, um, I, I can foresee the struggle with what they're going to what they're going to go through. Yep. Um, but they, they have faith in their product, but I can guarantee you, I won't see them in two years' time. You know, yep. and it, it, it's, 
it makes me feel bad for them because I want everyone to succeed. I don't want to take your money. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. But more importantly, I want you to understand that this is what you're going to have to do. The bulk of people never heard of listing fees. The bulk of people never heard of health care, oh, wow. cosmetic notifications, yeah. anything along that line. Yeah. Yeah. You even have to put special things on my labels. Like, yeah. Yeah. Where do I get a UPC code things. from? Yeah. What? yeah. What's a GS1? What's a ECC? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's Inky? Yeah. And, and, it's, it's, and, it, and it does. It gets very hard. And like I said, there's some people – you can see their persistence and they'll come back and they'll come back and they'll, and you can see that they're the ones that are going to succeed and they have the money and they understand how, how it's going to work and that they're not going to make money in the first year. I don't care what or you do. You're not, going to, you're not going to make money. Yeah. You're not the first year. Yeah. But yeah. If you have a product line or if you have a, a, um, a dream and if you work hard and if you, Know your market and you gotta do your homework. And that's probably the biggest thing. You gotta do your homework and you gotta talk to people. And that's why you guys are so beneficial where it's, you know, um, you're walking them through these, these processes that I've kind of touched on, but I don't have the time to go deeper into. I'm going from my past experience and calling on these, uh, on these banners and stuff like that, like a value and yeah. farm estate and so forth, you yeah, know. Yeah. But, so, but I think, I think you're, you know, if you're listening to this, I mean, what Linda's doing is so key, right? Like, so when you do run into what you feel like is a roadblock along the way, you really got to, you know, like, like, I think, I think you're, Linda, you're taking into stride something that it's difficult to deliver, right? Because like, you know, the regular business would go, hey, you know what? I can't do it go away or yeah, I'll do it, but I'm going to charge you a ton of cash, right? Which I've seen before as well, right? Where you go, I made this prototype, but it was so expensive. You're like, yeah, it's because <laughs> they, they never should have made you five. Like yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. exactly. thing. Actually, they probably yeah. should have told you not to make none. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. A service, like, uh, like a real service yeah. to you. They would have told you not to do it. Yeah. 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 Right. You know, so I think, you know, when you get someone like Linda, you know, who's kind of qualifying these things for you, you really got to, you know, the minute it sounds like a checklist, you should just write them all down, go away and do the work, right? Because yeah. it, it really does. does well, it'll work. save you the time. It'll save you the money. Yeah. It'll save you failures. And it's okay. You know, it, and we've talked about this, you know, sort of ad nauseum in the show. It's okay to fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess there's no yeah. problem failing, but try yeah. not to fail on the stuff that you didn't have to fail on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like sitting down and asking the questions or learning from an expert like you in this particular field, or if you pass them on to whether it's me or Phil or whomever, mm -hmm. like for the most part, a lot of this is really and truly free advice. Yeah. But it's, but it's solid advice. We're not doing this for any other reason is that, you know, we all want you to succeed. Yeah. Don't I, fail for silliness. I have my list of various suppliers. I know I'm not endorsing anybody, but I have my list of various suppliers, people that will do regulatory affairs, people that will um, do French translation, all that kind of stuff. It's just names I've collected over the years. And, yeah. and it's even if, even if I'm not doing business with you, I'm just saying, here, take a look at this. Do your packaging first. That's probably the most important thing is get your packaging organized, get your understanding of what you're going to look like. Because to, that's going to take you the longest part. I can I can whip up. I says me. I can the royal we. I can <laughs> yeah. whip up stuff easy. But yeah. But you're going to have to. You're going to go back and forth. You're going to change your mind. You're going to do this. Picking a product is easy. Yeah. I think you can market because you can understand what your marketing is and what it's going to look like on the shelf. And I often get people to say, I have a skew. I want to launch a product, and it's going to be this size. Well, I can tell you right now, no store is going to take one single skew. Why would they? You're not. You're going to. You're going to be lost in the shelf. Mm -hmm. So you know, either you make some extraordinarily outstanding packaging, or you do, I don't know, some kind of massive marketing Something. campaign. Yeah. Whatever, but yeah, yeah, but who's got the money for that? When these people, they don't have that. No. They don't. So think it through. Yeah. You might have to launch three skews. Do you want yeah. to launch three? Does the market even want three? Yeah. Does the market even want just the one? Is there yeah. even a reason to have three, right? Like, is there a reason to have one? Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes that's, yeah. that's the difference of talking. I mean, there are a lot of manufacturers and there's a lot of consultants. There's a lot of people in general that will just take the job because the money's there. They don't give a shit, yeah. right? They'll charge you for the time. If you want to make it, they'll make it for you. 
Yeah. But why do you want to deal with people like that? Well, why not try to find, you know, people that are, are looking? I don't, I don't, why, why do I want you to fail? There's no win in it for me. I'm not going to sleep any better. Yeah. No. And it just, and to me, it's just like, if I was doing this, this is how I want someone to treat me. Absolutely. And be Absolutely. frank and honest. You know, um, when your, your friend from um, New Zealand with the, the Newfoundland. Yes. Yeah. Like, Newflands. Newflands. That's the one. Yes. And so when we were talking, yeah. we, we had great conversations and whatnot, but when and yeah. we thought, okay, this is, this is doable. And we brought the product in. And unfortunately, it had such an aroma right. that it affects my that other products. Issue. Yeah. And oh, really? I can't, I can't control it. Wow. But I've got friends at uh, GFR, and I know that they have a really good liquid facility and that they could possibly do it. And so when I talked to the VP over there, or the president, I guess, and you know, he said, sure, but let's bring it on. So there's a good community of us in yeah. manufacturing. That's I've got awesome. people that do tablets and caplets and, and all those kinds of things, liquid yeah. nutritionals. And I have no problem in saying so-and-so, you know, yeah. yeah. Can you help these people? And if they, yeah. if you can't, then say no. Yeah. Nothing pisses me off more than someone saying, yeah, no, send them over. And then they piss around with them. And I don't like that. I don't do it. So you don't, I, I yeah, just, no. it's yeah. all the paid forward stuff. Yeah. I either do what you would do. You would do, yeah. do what you expect to be done to you. Yeah. Like don't waste my time. I mean, that's why I think it's, it's such a great idea. That's why like when Phil and I even started doing this, and now well, obviously we've dragged you into our world and a whole bunch of other people. Mm-hmm. It was more to do mm-hmm. just that is say, listen, you know, we've done relatively well in life mm-hmm. and we've had people help us mm-hmm. yeah. through some of this stuff. What's it really cost us to do this? You know, I'm in a hotel room, you're at home, you're both at home. So what? So you waste, waste an hour. It's not, it's a such poor choice of words. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't cost anything per se. Yeah. And it, it even makes us think. Sounds like second nature to us, but it makes us think, you know, yeah, yeah, should, you, should practice what I preach or how about this? Or you'd probably do some, you know what I mean? Like that's no, part it of keeps it, you though. sharp, right? Exactly. It, it really does. Like, like, learn for some of the stuff yeah. we've done. Yeah. I mean, it, we've it made does. enough mistakes, the three of us. Yeah. yeah. Right? What? Mistakes? What are you talking about? No. <laughs> but you went back to work. So I don't know. You're, you're like the biggest mistake. I don't know. <laughs> I, what happened. I'm, just, I'm listening to you and thinking you're going to, you're going to crash and burn my friend. Because <laughs> I am. Plus, I have other shit to send so your way, so I don't know what you're thinking. I am so deep in it. It's uh, well, you yeah. caused this one. I, I did, I did, I did, and and uh, it is, yeah, interesting. It's you, you know what? You it's, hit fifty. You wait till you uh, hit fifty, and then you're gonna go, oh crap. Yeah. No, no. I I think this is my year of living dangerously, and then I'll figure it out after this. So I, I'll. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah. it's. It's, uh, I, I don't know if I, no, I don't miss it. Like it's, it's really complicated. Like it's just, there are all these moving pieces, right? Like I think when, you know, like when you're freelancing, you're working on stuff, right? Like you just, you can kind of like, when you zero in on a task, you, you can get it done. You can kind of segment it into stages and then you're off. Right. But mine is like right now it's just, there's like 18 different people I got to talk to, you know, I got to keep them all. It's like herding cats all the time. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, and these are good people, right? Like, yeah. these are, you know, I actually like the company is, is a really great place to work. Right. So it's, uh, well, that, that, that makes it, that makes it easier. But you yeah. know, I mean, I, I, my biggest challenge is because I have so many clients, I, I don't necessarily, I haven't got a, a backup here. And if, you know, if I go away, they have to wait. Oh, you know, and, and well, a lot of people don't want to wait, but you yeah. know, it's unfortunate. Well, to the real world. Where are you going to yeah. go? Well, I went on holiday for two weeks. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But where's everybody? Yeah. But where's the, I'm not me, the other people. Oh, that. <laughs> they don't want to wait. Where are you going to go? <laughs> it's not like there's a whole shitload of options in Vancouver. There's yeah. really not. And there's there's, there's not. people that can do stuff, but yeah. half of them I wouldn't trust. No, no, like, but oh, seriously. So where are you going to go? But the perspective is is also that if you've got a trusted partner who's working on stuff for you, you know, the face of the work is away for a couple of weeks, right? So Linda, you're away, but there's still stuff happening in the background. Like yeah. it's kind of, it's not like, it's definitely not like mixing it in your kitchen or your bathtub, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, you can do it there. You can do it overnight because you can, right? But like, the point is you're not supposed to. <laughs> no, my, see, my responsibility oh, yeah. kind of stops is the PO comes in and, 
okay, you guys deal with all the logistics of it because I don't know what you do. That's yeah. your world. You don't know what I do. I don't know what you do. And just just make the stuff and make it good and, and yeah. so that they're all happy. And then they come back and say, Linda, you did a great job. And they go, yay. Yeah. And then they bring, then they bring Cardam Donuts. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> like, seriously, oh what do you God. want, man? So what do you we're, want? We're actually now getting a few calls from for clinical trial stuff, which is kind of oh, cool. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, and it's funny. So this is one of the things we were trying to capitalize because they're coming out of the just really weird out of the, out of the, we're doing one for, um, it was for um, a clinical trial for a solution for uh, cows. So for bovines and um, somehow they found us and then they did their stuff and they had a successful trial and then they started to go to humans. So now we're doing the human stuff for them. Um, we're doing another product for a clinical trial for a dermatologist and they're, they're trialing it now in uh, Miami. So it's, it's really cool how all these really, wow, unique really projects come up and, um, and didn't do a thing. And again, and it's funny, I remember many, like uh, probably when you first started talking on, you went for, when you first started your podcast, you guys were talking about SEOs. I'm like, what, what? What's an SEO? And I'm like, every time I'm writing it down and I'm in the car, yeah. I'm trying to think, I, I got to write oh, down because no. I'll forget by the time I get home. We don't, we don't support that. Don't, don't write anything down while you're in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I sent Kenny a text and said, what, what, what's SEO? And he goes, what? I don't know, what's SEO? And he goes, well, search engine off. Oh, yeah. okay. See? But that's, that's the learn as you go. Yeah. And it's, again, it's not something that necess you would necessarily have to worry about yeah. within your production world. But mm -hmm. if you were having challenges getting clients, which you obviously don't have that challenge, you know, stuff like that on your web page. Like, it's really mm -hmm. nice to hear and kind of bizarre to hear. It's, you know, nobody's marketing, nobody's looking for business, but you're quadrupling the business. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you got some struggles, don't you? But, I, but, I mean, but seriously, your SEO whatever. is good, though, right? Because they're finding Well, apparently something's good. Yeah, because they're finding you, right? So, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're finding us. And it's, it's now, once upon a time, we were struggling. We, we were. And it was just, that's just how it was going uh, when I first got there. And, mm -hmm. and I thought, what the, what the hell? I didn't have much options because I'm like, I don't have a university education. So when I got uh, restructured from pharma science, mm. um, which was fine, I had a year off. And I was okay because I was fortunate to have a proper, um, you know, uh, severance package. But that whole time I struggled, I feared, I panicked. I took, I took contract work. I was calling on medical clinics, trying to sell some posters. I, I did what I could because I was panicking. I didn't have to. Yeah. And I kind of regret not taking that year to actually enjoy myself, but I was, I was worried. And so I would do all kinds of contract work and, and in the end it was, it was fine. And then I, um, when I started doing contract work for ProLab, I, um, you know, got to the point where I was saying, geez, you guys, you know, I'm charging an awful lot of money. You might as well hire me. Um, because otherwise you're just going to go broke paying my, my, uh, contractor's fee. Yeah. And so they hired me and so forth and so on. And ta-da. Now look at five years later, five years later and you're dangerous. Yeah. And now I actually know something, you know, it's funny because like when you think about it, a man, a little well, bit of knowledge. you know, like I said, I, you know, I went to BCIT and did, you know, is that, did I bring that knowledge forward with me? But I was very fortunate. I have always landed on my feet because I was referred to a job. Yeah. I got my job at pharma science, literally. And I think you remember Marlene Novak, my old yeah. boss and she, knew that I was struggling to find work at that time. I, uh, or where I was, I wasn't, I was a horrible mistake where I was. And, uh, she said, you know, talk to Jerry and, you know, so he flew me out to Montreal on the red eye. And then I had an interview at nine o'clock in the morning. And then I was back on the noon flight to come back to Vancouver. And he didn't even say anything. He just basically said, like, I was nervous. I thought, oh God, what's this all about? And he said, um, don't worry, you got the job. Marlene says <laughs> you're good, so you're hired. So, oh, okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> that was kind of cool. But every kind of job I've had, I have been referred to by another person. And yeah. so it's always been by reputation. So 
this world though, if I was unemployed right now, like you guys are talking about in the last podcast, I'd be hooped. I would be hooped. I would have to do contract work. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I would be hooped because no one is looking at a 55 year old woman who didn't go to university 30 mm -hmm. years ago. They're mm -hmm. not even looking at a 55 year old woman who did go to university. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like if, if we're out of work, especially like Phil's not quite there. You just 53. And I've told Phil that's mm -hmm. the bad age. Mm -hmm. You get to that age and you are at the prime Mm -hmm. of your work yep. you've got some experience knowledge but nobody wants you mm -hmm. yep you're too high salary now exactly. you're too high maintenance. So you are stuck yep yeah right so you either have to do what i'm you either have to stick with that job and pray to god you get to 57 because yep. now now you're a different problem now we can't mm -hmm. get rid of you yeah yep. but you got that four-year run in there that you just you're praying every day or you mm -hmm. got to do something that we've all done and just yeah just try to do something else. But yeah. there's a lot of opportunity out there. And again, you know, and so, you know, some of the things we tell even like, especially the younger listeners, your reputation is critical. Mm -hmm. Do what you say you're going to do, follow through. And even on stuff like this, just learn to listen, like learn to learn, to, learn to glean things and reach out. These yeah. three people on this podcast right now, that mm -hmm. if you sent an email, 99% chance, unless we're doing really something else, you're going to get, some help yes not 12 hours worth but <laughs> definitely <laughs> a direction but, but or we hey. are dumb enough that if you called all three of us we'd each give you an hour with a <laughs> yes. oh yeah i mean so you're gonna get three hours of free consult you, right? like, people on the planet, <laughs> you know so if you're smart yeah, yeah. just do it in order yeah, Pick yeah. one just go to the next one and this you got three hours easy yeah you save yourself. Start, a shit start load with of the money. two dummies. Finish with the smarty. The smart one, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and then you're all good to go. So, so we know where we're starting. So I'll be the yeah. first. <laughs> you go to Phil, then go to Linda. Yeah, it, I, it it still boggles my mind, though. It really does because when I when I think about the people I've met, I've been very fortunate. This is a great community of people when it comes to um, pharma, health, and beauty, all that. Yeah. Just because of all the buyers that you get to know, all mm -hmm. the category managers, all the um, different people. When you go to the trade shows, like I, you know, when I when I look at that's what I miss. That's kind of the only thing I really miss is like going to the the pharma shows and yeah. not not selling crap. I don't care about that. But, oh God, I haven't seen you since the yeah. last show or whatever. And that that to me is a wonderful community. Um, uh, Jason Bawa for example. I, I can't remember how I first met him, but he was, he was hawking chocolate back then. Yeah, he's he, with Lind. He, yeah, he was with Lind. And so he would keep, he would keep coming over, here, Lind, have some more chocolate. But, All right. You know, and eventually <laughs> he came to work at Pharma Science, you know, plying me with chocolate, donuts, yeah. you're good. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's a great, it's, it's great to be part of a community. And uh, it's, um, especially, especially when you, when you're working from home, it's even better, you know, because otherwise you just, you do feel isolated unless you can reach out to other people that, you know, that you used to work with or used to that are in the industry or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they, they're always resources. I have fingers everywhere. And so people will always say, okay, you must know somebody's like, oh yeah, I do. And you feel kind of silly after a certain point in time. It's like, yeah, you know that many. I know people? a guy. I, I got a guy. Yeah, I know I got a guy. I got a guy. <laughs> I got a guy. <laughs> You know, somebody, I got a guy. I got a guy. How many guys? I got lots of guys. What do you want? Yeah, I got a guy. <laughs> and it's really weird because there's some really weird connections somewhere along the line. I know, you know, I got a glass guy. I got a guy that does windows, of course. You know, I got, you know, I know people. That's, that's, but that's hilarious. the game. But that's yeah, also, yeah. that's how you have to play it, right? Yeah. But it, like even the connection with Carol and Jim and, and uh, you know, and Gail and, and all these but kinds all of nice people. They're That's all really nice people and, and I've nice loved people. working with them throughout the years, yeah. you know? And yeah. so it's easy for me to say, you know what? I think your personality is going to suit Carol better. Or I think your yeah. personality is going to suit Phil better, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it just, um, that helps a lot because yeah. they know if I trust them and I guess they trust me. If it's someone I say, you know, if I was doing this, this is who I would go to. Yeah. Right. And that's mm -hmm. I, for me, it's huge. I don't recommend people lightly. If if I if they screwed me over, forget yeah. it. You're not getting any kind of recommendation. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's critical, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you need people you trust. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not complicated, guys. It's not, it's, we're definitely not brain surgeons, right? This is not rocket science. This is not a complicated life. It's really it's just teaching people use your resources. And I know it sounds sort of use. It is use, but you don't have to make it into a negative connotation. 
That's what people are here for. If they're good people, what's, what, what, what's the difference? Why wouldn't you want to help them? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And vice versa. Like, well, what does it cost you again? It doesn't cost anything. Yeah. It doesn't cost anything to smile. It doesn't cost anything to say, you know what? I know somebody. Talk to Phil on this one. This is yeah. really, this is up his alley. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It's, um, it's funny that like when you think about the people I do reach out to tend to all be our age range. Yep. And, and you often wonder what's going to happen down the road when the millennials and so forth, like where, where they, I find possibly there's a lack of communication abilities with them. Yeah where I know most of my stuff is all done. I've got clients I've never met, never talked to on the phone. It's weird um, though. But they're like, you know, $200,000 a year customers. And it's like, you have no desire to pick up the phone. And they, they, they're never there because it's a different time zone. And so. Yeah. But if it works, I guess it works. It just, to me, it's weird too. Uh-huh. Like I can't, I can't, I can't work for somebody that I haven't like shaken a hand with. Yeah, I, yeah. I offer, and it's stupid, uh-huh. right? But I like to know who you are, man. I, just, I don't know. I mean. Well, that's a European. I like, thing. I like the contact. I like the contact. Yeah. That is a European thing. I yeah. guess so. Yeah. The, these these particular clients are Americans, and and they're just saying, could can you make this? It was that one of those really quick ones. We have a formula. Can you make this? Yeah. Can you make this many? Yeah. Here's the formula. Can you make it? We sent them a sample. Okay. Here's the order. It was boom, 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 just like that. Wow. And, and it, Which is and, nice. That's good business. Yeah, that's it's good very business. nice, especially in the U.S. dollars. It's great for us. Yeah, but know? I don't know. Maybe you want to have a coffee? Weird. <laughs> I think they're in Minnesota. I have. Oh, no, you want. That's the first thing coming here. I definitely have. I, I think I have. I have a Minnesota client, or I, I've had, and then I have one in Georgia somewhere. Uh, and then there's one in Dakota that I'm pretty sure I'm never going to see ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know which Dakota. <laughs> one of the Dakotas. One of the Dakotas, you know, like it's kind of like going to Edmonton, I think. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, who the hell knew? I'd never been to Edmonton practically in my life until this last eight months. Yeah. Really? Now, it, seriously, when would I come to Edmonton? I know. Yeah, I, I used to go there all the time. That's there. why. We passed through. I mean, we did a store yeah. tour here one year with London, I don't know, maybe 15, 16 years ago. And. I think the second time I had been to Edmonton was last April for the show. Mm. That's it. Wow. Before I know it, like, you know, I, I've, I'm now a regular member of the Edmonton airport. I, <laughs> I, 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 I just, I'm going to get to know security pretty soon. <laughs> hey, <laughs> how's it going, man? <laughs> yeah. I, I used to hit, uh, when I was a sales manager, I hit Edmonton, Calgary, um, Winnipeg, Saskatoon, mm-hmm. and what I used to do in Winnipeg and Saskatoon, I used to make the sales reps drive me out to horrible places, you know, because I'd never been to small town before, ever, yeah. and that's the coolest thing. It's Some awesome. place called Oxbow, you know, yeah. who heard of that? And it's like yeah. they got a, they got the pharmacy that's come, far, uh, post office, come liquor store, yeah, come merchandise, yeah. and and that's yeah. all you had. Yeah, you know. But, that's amazing. Yeah, I, that, that I do miss. I don't miss traveling so much, but I because I traveled an awful lot back then. But now I'll just do CHFA and and maybe the Anaheim show and yeah, yeah. That's, so are you doing uh, CHFA? Yeah, I'll, I'll do, be there Saturday and I'll do the one in Toronto. I'm just walking. I don't need I don't need no booth. They just go, hey, it's Linda. That's what you want, though. Are you doing Expo as well? No, you're not going to go down there. I, I don't need to because I, honestly. I'll break the company if I bring more business in. Yeah. Well, I don't need to go there either. I just like going. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I do too, but um, I'm, I'm going to Palm Springs in a couple of weeks. And that's enough. Woo-hoo. <laughs> well, that'll be the day off. Woo-hoo. That's, that's a way better place. Let all your clients know right now. Show. I'm not going to be home. Palm Springs. Out, out for the day <laughs> or a week or two. You know, we, we should do this podcast from Palm Springs. That oh, be, that's a good that idea. A cool side. That's a good idea. <laughs> cool side. I get my big old iPad out and just yeah. sit there and go, hello, everybody. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's I'm, pretty I'm pretty all over that one. I like it. I'm well, all over that bring one. me a Mai Tai. And, yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah. I'm all over that one. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's all good. All good in the hood, boys and girls. Well, podcast audience, this is Linda Webb. So you finally met Linda show. Webb. You finally met her. The owner of the um, show has finally yeah. showed up yeah, for it. she's shown up. Um, do you want to give people your, uh, I don't know, do you want to give them your contact information, like ProLabs 
Sure. Uh, I mean, you can always check out the website at prolabhealth.com. It's P-R-O-L-A-B, not prolab with an S, because that's like prolapse, and that's not a good thing. Mm-mm. It is Linda <laughs> Webb. No, oh, what's my, oh, my email has this L Webb, W-E-B-B, at prolabhealth.com. Um, you can always call me. My cell number, sadly, is on the website, so people are free to call me whenever. Um, I may not answer, but it's just because Don't call her whenever. Home. Call her during I, business hours, people. I, yeah. I'm on the phone to her here via her own podcast. Yeah, you could. Bill you and could, I just are here every week uh, doing this podcast, so you're we'll more manage all of it. We'll filter all emails. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dummy one and dummy two will take care yeah. of all your needs <laughs> <laughs> and just take care of you for, for Linda. <laughs> That's thing great. one and thing two. I got an assistant now. <laughs> two of them. Well, yeah, for a bonus good way, as well. You know, we, we might filter yeah. out all the guys, right? So you, you might, instead of the 25, you know, it might come back down. You might exactly. just get the four or five that might make the exactly. cut. You know? We're just going to scare them all away because they're going to be yeah. thinking, wow, that's a caliber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel bad because, you know, I was just, I didn't realize it's like 10, 10 to nine I've been, I've been primarily talking for the last 50 minutes it's your show did you guys want to have say anything no it's your show no we we love it we love i mean this is why we wanted you on because i i think the i think that what you've been talking about is super relevant i mean you know kenny and i talk through you know we talk through digital we talk through everything else but i think the perspective of just what you've got to do to make sure that you're checking to make sure that the product is good um, that you've got the right concept and you're, you're kind of got all the right fundamentals is, is a really big deal, right? So I'm This is I'm critical glad. for small yeah. business. This is yeah. critical. Is. They don't yeah. understand. You saw the other day that we had the interview, you know, you started the interview and this is a person who's in manufacturing. Mm-hmm. This is a person who knows um, certain things, but the industry they're in doesn't have to worry about stability for a lot of things, et cetera. So yeah. really and truly the mindset of that individual was six months. Yeah. When we told him, because I, I, I knew the number too, because I mean, I've done this long enough. I mean, I don't know your, to your detail, obviously, but I'm thinking, oh, no, it's a year, man. Yeah. Like well, October. Yeah. yeah, October 2020. Yeah, no problem. You can have it done by then. <laughs> Remember? Like, what do you mean? So, well, 20, October this year? <laughs> no, no, not going to happen. No. You don't even have a name. You're crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, you don't have a name. You don't got nothing. Yeah. And it's like building a home where people don't understand. Once you go to you, if you're going to take the deal and, and you can do the formula, and you're going to start stability. You start packaging now. You start everything right now because it's like building yeah. a home. You don't phone the drywaller when the studs are all in. Mm-hmm. You phone the drywaller when you're mm-hmm. pouring the cement for the foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Once the yeah. framing's done, you've already have them booked. Yeah. A month ahead. That's how yeah. you do things. You got to get ahead if you want to launch in that year. Yeah. Yeah. If you're packaging when Linda says, "Yeah, we're done stability." That's six months in. If you haven't started, you are now 15 months out. Yep. And if you haven't done packaging, you're probably now 17 months out. Yep. It's not a big deal. No, but it's not time. But it's, you know, but in time, 17 months, yeah. six new products could have hit the shelves. Yeah. But that's, that's critical too, though. Sorry, I don't mean to drag on your podcast here, but it's so critical. Okay. This is why I've always boggled my mind. People who actually have products and they're selling it don't know the cost of goods. Oh my God, try to be feeling I've had enough of those discs. Oh, Jesus. Well, it, it boggles my mind, especially and if you make it at home and then you come to me and expect me to make it, that's fine, I'll do it. Keep in mind, I've got a team of QC specialists, QA specialists, production specialists, packaging specialists, yeah. all these people, plus all the documentation Health Canada makes yeah. me do. So there's that. you got to remember, you were paying yourself, I can guarantee you that, and you weren't taking into consideration anything else and you know all the other stuff do a business plan that is key people seem to think that that doesn't mean anything more in business plan i'm not talking about you know the whole big deck of of business plans i'm talking about your strategy of what you're gonna what you're selling who you're selling it to why you're selling it where you know and and so forth and and that's kind of the key things and those are the kind of stuff i actually push off on to kenny you know for people to help people with the numbers and stuff so that they understand cost of goods and and business planning and and what happens when you call when you call on someone like kenny who who gets rude and mean and (laughs) i I definitely said that but i don't think Uh, i would (laughs) i definitely told people to pound sand but in a nice way yeah Yeah. and it's for the same reasons do your research. Yeah. yeah. 
do your research. It's your job, not mine. I'm just, you know, I just lease space. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Highest bidder got the shelf. That's yeah. all I did. Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't care who takes the shelf. Right. But you need to understand that portion of the game. And you, you know, the, a lot of people you said, we've gone through that. And that's why we've got one of our friends who's stuck. Mm-hmm. You know why he's stuck? He's stuck because he didn't listen. Didn't yeah. listen to you. Didn't listen to me. Right. And he's a super nice person. Like to love the guy, but got to mm-hmm. learn to listen, man. I mean, you know, especially when there was no gain in it for the t- two of us in a sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I don't win on, on, yeah. on, on a failure. I, 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 you know, I, I want you to hammer it. Yeah. I don't give a shit if I make a penny or not. What the hell do I care? Well, and that's a great thing. I, I don't make commission. I, I, I do this. And I always say this, like I've, I've been, I'm very lucky. Every job I've had, I've never, I've never taken because I need to have the money. Not that I have money coming out of my, I, I get it. Mm-hmm. I, I work yeah. where I'm happy to work. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That makes a big difference. Cause when I started this job, I had a huge salary cut, but I saw vision and I saw something that was going to be good and something that's going to be interesting and fun that I could learn from. And that's exactly what happened. I, I was luck, lucky. I took the gamble. Uh, it doesn't always work out that way, but you know, it makes a big difference. You have to listen to people as Kenny says, and it yeah. just, uh, huge sense to have yeah. your wits about you and mm-hmm. listen we yeah. do know what we're talking about oh well, two yeah. one of them, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the other two just basically take the script of the you know the king queen boss sends us and we just you know just yes go with it. yes oh man as long as you do my bidding that's all that matters that's you know yes, ma'am. how much more can we possibly do <laughs> my god you own the freaking show okay i, we, I was getting to the point i don't know There's i no would ask him for more biscotti i would hold out for more biscotti oh that's it. <laughs> i just gotta talk to mom yeah 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 right just we, we gotta just figure out how to I cut the middleman out Linda, I got a fresh bat. Between you and me, we got to cut the middleman out. Oh How do we get God, to yeah, Mama Venucci? I can get the phone number. Because <laughs> she's mad at me for sharing the last batch anyway. Oh. <laughs> but it was good. Yours because she didn't like the recipe. Linda's because they were too old. I got a new batch at home. I don't There's know if I'm about to share those either. Probably too old to cook. Anyways, what is it? <laughs> about, listen, you got to talk to my mom, okay? There's, you know, there's only so much we can do here. <laughs> Okay. I have, I have no control in most parts of my life. That one does another one. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All I just right. take pictures of empty tins. This is, <laughs> this is the end of the show. Thank you for being on the, uh, on the I podcast. I'm so happy we finally got we around. Are, we are really happy. I, we're, we're so glad that you came on the show. I'm so ba- happy to be here. So next, you know, yeah. by all means, I'm, I'll, I'm happy to join again if you really yeah. think I have anything else to say. Yeah, you or know tell what? us if you think of things that we want to talk about. Yeah, you yeah, know, definitely. Like, you know, a couple cool things that yeah. where you can see there's some. It's all learnings. All I want to do is just learnings. Yeah, if we can yeah. teach somebody something, and save somebody some money or a failure, then I think yeah. we're obligated to do it. Yep, to be I very honest with you. So I think at that point, if you see some examples that are really cool, let's let's yeah. do it. I like mm-hmm. that Patrice on. Yeah, you know why? Because yeah. I would like to have someone who's walked through it. Yeah. And sort of goes through what she went through, and she's yeah. successful right now. And the adjustments that now. she had to make along the way. Absolutely, yeah. she, she's and a really now. good case. She's a good case study. A very yeah. good. Case Absolutely, because yeah. this is a person who really right has no clue of the industry that she's participating in to some degree, and yet yeah. she's super bright. Yeah. yeah, but she's also smart enough to know that she's bringing in um, people to help. Yeah. Not, again, not rocket science, but you got to learn that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, all good on the hood. Love it. All right. Hey, boys. Thank Thanks you so it. much. Thank you. Thanks very much, Linda. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Have a great night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. All right. That's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.